begin to recap how to find factors of a number and the highest common factor of a number. So first of all, let's say I'm given a number like 21. And I'm asked to find the factors of 21. Well, an easy way to have a go at this is to draw a factor bug. So I'm going to put 21 in a bug. And I'm going to draw antennae for my bug. Now what numbers go at the top here is always 1 and itself. That's easy enough. 1 times 21 is 21. So that's what factors mean. 1 times 21 equals 21. You don't have to write this down. This is just little notes. OK, the next bit, if I went in my times table grid, 21 is also in the 3 times table. If I count in 3s, it's 3 times 7. So that's two more factors. 3 times 7 equals 21. In fact, that's all the factors of 21. But if I just drew a factor bug as my answer, that's not fully correct because I haven't listed the factors of 21. So this is what it should look like. 21 and then a colon. And then you just list the numbers at the end of legs. And I'm just going to start at 1 and just go around till they get big, bigger each time. So 1, 3, 7 and 21. And that's finished. Another way you can do it, which is quite a good idea, is to do them in pairs. So 1 goes with 21 and 3 goes with 7. Either way, I've listed all four factors. Let's have a look at another one. Factors of 28. So I'm going to put 28 in my factor bug with my antennae. And what goes in my antennae? 1 and the number itself. OK, and using my multiplication square, I should know 28 is also in the 2 times table. Oh, now this is a problem because it's more than your multiplication square goes up to. Because it's an even number, it's in the 2 times table. So if you count in 2s, eventually you'll get to 28 after you've counted 14 times. And in your multiplication square, it is in the 4s, and it's 4 times 7. And that's all there is. So I haven't finished yet. Remember, I need to list my factors. So I can either start at 1 and go my way around, or I could do it in pairs. I'm going to do it in pairs this time. 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 4 and 7. Now, you don't have to draw the factor bug. You can go straight to this stage. But this is why I highly recommend that if you go straight to that stage, you do it in pairs. Otherwise, often what people end up with is something like this. They say, oh, I know one's a factor, two, four, uh, seven, uh, 14, and I'm done. And what they've forgotten is that one needs to have a pair. So if you do it in pairs, it helps you to get all the factors down. OK, so we found factors. Let's say I was given the number 13. What if I draw a factor bug with 13? It's 1 and 13, and it's in no other multiplication table. So if it only has antennae, it is prime. Prime meaning it has exactly two factors, which are just the antennae here. 